We think that there is going to be a different kind of uh, modem that needs to be built, different kind of hardware, software, infrastructure, the entire piece. And we're just seeing the beginning phases. Most interesting to me here, uh, particularly with 5G and ORAN uh, put together, is that uh, the interest isn't only coming from operator side, uh, that's typically what telco has been, but I see interest from enterprises, I see interest from cloud service providers, uh, there's a plethora of people wanting to be in this space all of a sudden. What we call box makers themselves are changing. Uh, the traditional box makers, you, you know, networking you know, companies, we all know who they are, but uh, 5G is new, right? It's new in so many different ways because it's not a telco technology by itself. It's like, it's also enterprise, meaning if it goes into a factory, who services that market, right? Who is, you know, like the largest networking company in the world is what, Cisco and maybe Huawei and Juniper Networks, for example. So, um, because Ericsson and Nokia, though they play a role there, they're not traditional network, uh, enterprise networking companies. Um, uh, but, so, so when we say box makers, there's number one, those types of people, meaning there's all kinds. Um, but DU is a server at the end of the day. It's, you know, it doesn't have antenna sticking out of it, right? Uh, so if you're gonna go down the DU path, then you're looking at a distributed unit, then you're looking at, well, can a server company get into that space? You know, like can an HP, Dell, um, Lenovo, whoever, right? An ODM that makes a server. Why not? Uh, you can, if it truly disaggregated, you can have hardware from somebody, you can have software from somebody else, much like how a, um, a, uh, a GPU fits into a, a, a server today, right? NVIDIA GPU, like a NIC card or a, um, or a, um, 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 a Mellanox NIC card, for example, how that plugs into a server. So number one, what you think of as a box maker is, is one thing. And the second is what I was saying before. Well, if you go one step further, well, if hyperscalers get into this, they make their own boxes, right? Uh, they might use an ODM for it, but at the end they spec it, they kind of do everything themselves. Commercially, they engage directly with the chip company. So, so we see our go-to-market as a box maker um, and the box maker themselves, I see more and more being non-traditional than the traditional um, uh, cellular equipment maker. So meaning you're gonna see all kinds of existing box makers and, and future ones come into this space. And I think that's uh, given the nature of 5G, uh, it just makes sense. It's just new set of markets here.